Uh, hello and welcome into the Rotowire Esports Show. I am Andrew Laird, joined as always by Ethan Sexton. We are back after a brief hiatus, uh, this time to talk about Wednesday's two-game LCK slate, which uh, sounds really fun. Uh, Ethan, I feel like every time we do these LPL LCK slates, we're like, eh, let's just really figure out where the points are coming from the LPL teams. And we don't we don't have them for this slate, so... Uh, no, no. I think, I think it's just because... Um, the LPL is just way more fun. Uh, there's way more teams there, and you know, there's way more, which means there's way more teams that are like way more enjoyable to watch. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's the the biggest thing. But you know what? They're not here, man. We we can't dwell on it. We just gotta gotta work with what we got here. And it could be worse. We could be doing uh, North America or Europe. So <laughs> <laughs> it could it could always be worse, man. Low blow, low blow. Um, yeah. All right, so we've got, um, like I said, two series slate. We've got Damwon, big favorites against KT, and Sandbox, favorite against uh, our favorite team, Fred at Breon. Um, like, <laughs> the kill totals for the for these games are, are actually the same. Obviously, Damwon is expected to crush KT, so um, they're... They're pr- pretty one-sided there. Um, is there is there a path? I mean, obviously there is a path because upsets happen all the time. We know that thanks right. to uh, our to Fred at Breon. Um, but like nobody is really going into this slate realistically saying like I'm going all in on KT, right? Uh, I think only if you're playing like the the multi-entry for. Uh... 10k grand prize i right. mean maybe that's a, a kt sweep is probably your fastest way to get towards the the top of a gpp leaderboard but i'd be surprised if anybody was looking at this slate and uh you know they were really thinking that kt was going to pull off a sweep at damwon tomorrow um you know like you said anything can happen we saw fred pre on sweep damwon earlier in the year uh which is but still we i think we bring it up every single slate as the as the, hey, anything can happen, you know, yeah. this happened, so anything can happen. Um, but I'm certainly not expecting KT to, to – I really don't think KT will even win a game. Uh, so Damwon are like our safe bet to 2-0 tomorrow. But the question we need to ask ourselves with Damwon uh, is do they pay off these uh, these lofty salaries? Um, you know, me looking at this slate holistically, uh, I think Damwon's a 2-0 sweep probably. Uh, and then I think – that sandbox Fred at Breon one is is a sort of a tough one to call. It's the two worst teams in the league, right? Yeah. Um, which means it could be a very sloppy series on both sides. So we could see kill totals up uh, for either side. Um, man, me, I'm kind of leaning the sandbox side, but it, it's really like on a razor's edge because it's a tough one. Um, I'm I'm operating under the assumption that uh, Lava is back for Fred at Breon, so. In their last series, they had to move Umti into the mid lane, right? And then Chieftain came in and played jungle. Uh, but since it's been you know over a week since the last games, I'm assuming that Lava's back, but I, I don't have confirmation at this point in time. So there might be something out there on like Weibo or like I don't use it at all, uh, which is like the the Chinese Reddit where yep. a lot of information breaks. So if you're really digging deep, folks, you can you can maybe find out. Um, I'm working under the assumption that Lava is back, but even so, and, and it's kind of, I don't know if it's just like a bias or whatever, but I've, I said when we first started doing these that I like this sandbox roster and so far that's proven to be, um, you know, a, a bad call obviously, cause they're in pretty rough shape, but it just feels like to me, they, they still have better players overall, um, but really like it, nobody's going to surpri- be surprised if either of these teams wins tomorrow. Uh, and it just feels like that's the one, that's the series that's going to have the higher kill totals potentially. Um, just cause it kind of feels like damn one, maybe they don't need to pick up as many kills. Although in fairness to them, you know, they're they're they, they do get a lot of kills in their games usually. And, uh, KT has given up the most deaths on this slate by a lot, by like over 70 deaths, I think. So. I mean, there's room to room to think that Damwon could put up 20 kills a game and get a sweep. Uh, it's going to be hard to long stack them, though, at these prices. So you could do a short stack with Damwon potentially and then look at, you know, either Fred at Breon or, or Sandbox in your long stack and, and, and build your rosters from there. But, yeah, it's uh, not a lot of, like, analysis for this slate, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, 
but um, that doesn't mean that it, it makes the roster construction easy. Yeah, I I, <clears throat> I was kind of just guessing based on the uh, based on the prices and the odds that a lot of people will try to build Damwon, uh, Fred and Breon lineups because yep. if you kind of look at the Breon Fred and Breon uh, sandbox matchup as a toss up. Which, like, it's not, odds-wise, it's not, but, like, they're the two worst teams, so anything can happen. Um, and then you just kind of take the perceived safety of Damwon, and yep. that's kind of the easy build. But you kind of mentioned this point that, like, it's possible Damwon can just completely roll and not need a lot of kills. And if Sandbox and Breon are just sloppily killing each other all over the place, then maybe... It's a game stack day. I, I don't, ah, man. I just like so that we know that they're much more viable on these two gamers, right? For sure. Um, so I can't really be like, I can't really like say it's a stupid thing to do if somebody wants to do it, but I'm not going to do it. Um, the biggest issue that I see is that Fred at Breon just really don't get a lot of kills in yeah. their games. Uh, like they only have 145 kills in 18 games played this season. Ah, uh, man, which is like 70 less than than sandbox even and you know we're talking about the two worst teams in the league so uh that that really gives me pause on a game stack and you know just because the fact that they just do not i mean that's that's less than 10 kills a game right if i'm doing my math right here 8.06 and sandbox is the next lowest at 12 Right, so like twelve is bad, right? right. Like eight is just atrocious. Um, <laughs> eight is like I'm not like eight is like some of these North America and Europe one game uh, slates where where teams can win with like ten kills, which is so it's like watching paint dry sometimes. Like so that really like but anyway, getting back to Korea, I mean that that really give, would give me pause on doing a game stack uh, just because Fred and Brian just don't pick up a lot of kills. I mean maybe you can use our stats easier than navigate them easier than me and and see what they get in wins. But even that, you know, if you're only averaging eight kills a a game played, it's that's, that's really rough. Right. Um, So that, that's another reason why I'm kind of leaning sandbox in that series. And, you know, part of me is just hoping that, like you said, majority of people, because I think you can fit a a Damwon long stack with Fred at Breon. Uh, So I'm kind of hoping that the, that's the chalk. And maybe we get a, a sandbox stomp with a, with some decent kill totals, and that kind of differentiates a little bit. Although we know on these two game slates that a lot of things are going to be pretty popular at the end of the day. <laughs> unfortunately, right. that's yeah, that's obviously the case. Yeah, I feel like I mean, you mentioned how we have to pretty much mention on every slate that Fred at Breon upset, um, <laughs> but like we also mentioned that uh, on that day you didn't need them, like you. you they, the team slot is what paid off, uh, and yep. people were playing them because they were the cheapest. They were it was like thirty eight hundred at that point. Um, yeah. So it's yeah. not even like the Fred at Breon players were all that helpful. Uh, so we do we do have a problem, basically a problem there because because we don't even want to play them. But you have yeah. to imagine that they score better than KT if like if if uh, Fred at Breon lose. Uh, two one, let's say, and yep. KT gets swept. Like at least they're scoring more than KT. But then, so you're essentially hoping that your Fred and Breon players score enough while losing two games, <laughs> then to make up for the hopefully Damwon crushes because you're pairing them with them. Yep, know, or, or vice versa, right? Like you're hoping the same thing with your sandbox guys. If you're going sandbox, right. if they lose two one, then it's the same deal. But yeah, I mean. It's that that series really like it's kind of on a knife's edge. I think I just like I feel like this sandbox lineup should be better than they than they are, and maybe that doesn't mean that they're like a good or even you know even a or I was gonna say maybe it doesn't mean that they're a great team at all or even a good team, but I just feel like they should be better than how bad they've been performing. Like right. they still have some guys that I think are talented. Like Summit's been good, and Fate has been good in the past, and Route has been good. They're just you know they're struggling right now mightily so they're they're not a good team but you know neither is fred at brian so this is the, the series to really take a look at them right and uh, uh you know i can't really fault anyone if they want to go either way in that one it's just kind of a coin flip series and then you've got the safety of damn Juan, uh the perceived safety of damn Juan anyway and then um you've got kt as the ultimate leverage so 
Uh, KT probably you're looking at 10% ownership. I would I would guess um, maybe bigger in like the big multi entry, you know, because uh, there's only four teams. Um, but they're they're certainly going to be the lowest owned team one would think. And then uh, you know you've got Fred at Breon and and Sandbox leeching ownership off each other at probably similar rates. Um, and then Damwon should be the most owned team by far. Yeah. So I'm going to pull a little LGD here um, and look because Sandbox in the last four, their last four series, um, they were swept three times, but they were swept by T1, Genji, and Damwon. And yep. then they swept Hanwon. Yeah. Out of nowhere. Um, yep. That was their last series, right? Yeah. The so. I, I want to give the benefit of the doubt that like they're the stats look bad because they just went through like a ridiculous part of their schedule. Yep. That and makes they, you have to ignore the fact that they lost two one to Red Force, <laughs> got yep. swept by KT, lost two one to DRX. Yep. They did be they swept Africa. So like, it feels a little bit just like that LGD uh, situation where we're like we know they're not great, but. Right how much can we really uh, look into the, at least the recent stats, because we would have fully expected them to get blasted by those teams and they got blasted. In fact, the Hanwan upset almost makes me feel better about it. Cause I'm like, they, they got killed by the top teams. Hanwa, we've seen them put up big scores, but like we know that they're not in that same uh, group as, as Damwon and Gen G. Right. So like, sure they can win. The, the sweep, I guess was a little surprising, but like maybe sandbox is okay. Yeah, I, I think they're better than their record, mm-hmm. is, what I, is what I would say for sure. Um, and the thing about them getting that sweep over HLE in their last series is it gives me, it makes me feel better about their lineup. Like, mm. I feel like, because they, they're, you know, we should mention, right, that they're a team that has substituted in the past, especially at that 80 carry role yeah. primarily. Um, but the fact that they got a 2 0 last time, it, it makes me feel pretty good that they're going to roll the same lineup out there. So. Uh, you know, with that being the late game, hopefully that gives us a little more safety there. Uh, but you know, n- nothing is ever a hundred percent certain, sure. of course. So, um, but they, yeah, that's part of it. I mean, I, I just think they're better. Their roster is better than this Freddie Brion roster. Um, but who knows, man? I mean, it's it's a matchup with two bad teams, and you know, a lot of times we, when we see a matchup like this, we're like, why why not take the cheaper team? Although you're really not getting a lot of salary savings by going to Freddie Brion either. So. Uh, yeah, it's a really close one. Um, for sure, either side could win, but I- I'm going to lean Sandbox for sure. Yeah, I think I could just convince myself on that one. <laughs> so we'll have to apologize for the Breon sweep tomorrow. Yeah. When, I mean, it wouldn't be a shocker, but I'm just not going that way myself personally. I just love that, to, just to like accentuate how bad this slate is, that I brought up the possibility of game stacking the late game of an LCK slate. <laughs> yeah, you got to have some stones to do yeah. that. And then it's two teams that really don't score very well either. So it's right. like, uh, it's not really the the most enticing prospect, I guess. Yeah, I don't think the I don't think this matchup was in the Back to the Future uh, sports uh, magazine. So oh well. <laughs> Um, all right. If you guys have enjoyed the video, if you could please hit the like button below, feel free to subscribe to all of the Rotowire uh, videos. Obviously, with uh, LCK back, LPL is back this weekend. So uh, Ethan and I are going to be back every day to preview these slates. So uh, if you have any comments or would like us to cover anything else, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, and also, if you are interested in trying out Rotowire, just go to rotowire.com slash pod. That's P-O-D. Get you 10 free days to the site. Uh, covers everything that we have on Rotowire, meaning all the sports as well as access to our subscriber Discord where you can chat more League of Legends there. So, Ethan, thank you for that, and good luck on Wednesday. All right, same to you, man.